Oh, this is where Marissa and I walk. Oh, that's creepy. This is Grant Nadu, and this is obviously Marissa Nadu, and we thought it was high time for an update. Boom. This is about 500 feet. This is about 500 feet from where we live. Down there is where we're staying, way down there. And we walk all the way up here, which is the only road out of here as she's eating my beer. This is up where the Panaria slash cafe is, where we're gonna get some fresh bread for dinner tonight and then an avocado. So, check it out. So about midday, Marissa and I, because this is kind of with her uh, dive tuition, we go grab lunch of rice and beans that uh, the uh, hotel workers make. So you're going to see that. to Marissa's Dive College. And where we eat lunch. This is Grant Nadu with the Nay Duo update. Marissa's hard at work at some of her dive stuff. It's been three weeks that we've been in the Dominican Republic. Uh, we tell people we're in Punta Cana, which is a high tourist area here in the Dominican Republic. We're actually in a little town called Bavaro, which is kind of north of that area. We're here because Marissa is at the dive college finishing her dive instructor certification so that she can help people get certified. We're doing that because we want to have jobs here on the field. Marissa's going to try to get dive instructor jobs while we're here so that during tour season we can work here, earn money, do tent making, and then during the off season go back towards Haiti. Uh, and complete our work there. We're looking into that. We're looking into local ministry here. So the last three weeks has been about settling in. Um, as with every place you move somewhere new, there's a whole settling in period. So the first week, Marissa got right into dive, actually. It was cool. got to dive about two times a day. And then in the afternoons, I get, got to study about diving. And it was, just, it was exciting. I got to practice skills every day and finally doing what I want to be doing. And it was a lot of fun. She was diving twice a day. I went on my first official dive. Um, and then the second week, actually, she got sick. She had a little bit of a nasal cold and a lot of drainage, and you know you can't dive or go underwater with pressure like that. I was diving for about a week and a half. Oh, I am trying to get over being sick for the past week and a half. I haven't been able to dive in over a week now. Get a little discouraged. <laughs> she's been on the mend and kind of frustrated with that, but she's back. Um, she's ready to dive, and she'll probably be back in the water by next Monday. Um, so settling in, yeah, we've had to find where we're getting food, where we're getting water, what we're doing. But just so you know, part of Marissa's fee for the dive has gotten us a room at a small, unknown hotel here known as Elysios. Um, it, there's a lot of, like, major uh, vacation rentals around here, all-inclusive resorts, the Hard Rock Resort, um, Punta Cana Resort. There's a ton of that stuff here, but we're staying in a small side hotel. It's a great little place, just a few hundred yards from the beach. Um, so that's what Marissa's been doing. She's been studying her dive. What I've been doing is I've been writing a ton. If you've been paying attention to grandnative.com or State of the Spark, I'm starting to upload and finish a lot of material. I've also been writing on my two fiction novels and even submitted a proposal to Zondervan, which some of you saw on Facebook. So writing a ton. Um, but also during the day, I'm trying to network with missionaries on the island, missionaries within the Dominican Republic, and missionaries within Haiti to kind of see where we're going to be in December. We could land with several missionaries. We've got our tent, we've got our solar bags, and we've got a little bit of savings. And from there, we can start to plant and serve with maybe missionaries that are established. That's one thing. Uh, the other is, is I find teaching English work, and Marissa finds dive work, and we just find jobs either in the north of Dominican, in this area of the Dominican Republic, or possibly in Jacmel in Haiti. Those are the two most likely scenarios. Um, 
Another possible scenario is that we actually find ministry work uh, or places to serve and actually try to garner support for some of those um, uh, efforts. But we're going to see right now. We're really up, up in the air. So my major vision is to live a life of mission and to activate and equip others to do the same. And so part of my writing, the 90-day launch guide to a life of missions, the top 100 um, dream igniter, and the seven-day spark homework, these are all documents that I've been creating to really lean, in to lean in towards living a life of mission and helping to activate and equip others to do the same. So that's where we're at. Unless you have anything else. No, I'm good. Send us any questions you guys have about where we're at, and we'll answer it in the next video. We love you guys. We miss you guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Justin, if you watch us, for doing the cover on the book. And, you know, thank you, Miss Yvette, for being encouraging, and Mom and Dad and everyone who's just been in touch with us. So we, we, we appreciate that, and uh, we look forward to catching you guys soon.